No, I'm too covered them out, lad. Done. Oh. Oh. Are you <laughs> Nice to God. Ow. You moron. I am. Well, he's there. Ha 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 ha! Cheeky sod! <laughs> Hello there. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode of Billy's Little Big Adventure Channel. I'm with my grandson, the eldest one, Jack. And we're in the Lake District. Ooh. Uh, across from Coniston Water. We're actually going to a town called Beacon Tarn, about a mile away off the off the where we parked. Uh, do a bit of a wild camp there. Uh, once we've figured out where we're going, through all these brambles and uh, ferns, I'll show you. Uh, should take us about 30, 40 minutes to get there, I think. Something like that. And uh, Hopefully we'll have a good time. Now it's the first wild camp we've done since lockdown. One, the last one we did uh, was at um, uh, was at the forest in Boland. That was uh, a few days before lockdown. This is a couple of weeks after they've let uh, the government have let us stay overnight somewhere so we're taking advantage of it and we're going up this tarn so come along and have a look at uh, what we get up to it's supposed to film me when i'm really fit as well it's not too kiddy throw to me <laughs> a bit more to climb yet i think someone's a bit tired Oh yeah, they are last. <sighs> well, we've made it. Here we go. Beacon Town. Um, Campus Botia. All around there, really. Uh, I think that's a proper. Uh, if people walk, they're going to walk this way anyway. So. We may pitch up here, or we may go over here. I'll walk over there and we may have a look at it, see what that looks like. This is where I stood last time, when I came with Andy and June and uh, Sharon. Obviously, well, they're not here today. Uh, and I flew the drone over there as well. But um, I'm going to check out another spot over here. See if we can go, we can uh, camp. That's not a bad spot, actually. Uh, Slows down a bit there, and uh, yeah, it would fit two tents in there, but I think uh, where Jack is, I think we'll camp there. 15th of July, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, nobody about. We've not passed anybody, anybody hasn't passed us, we haven't seen a soul here. Uh, looks like there's only us two here, which is great. So I think it's about time we set the tents up and uh, see what else we're going to get up to. Right, the tents are up. I think I'll uh, filter some water for some coffee.
That water's looking tempting. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's not cold at all. Not cold. Eh? Oh, such nice. Lovely. Oh. Well, that was wonderful, that. Nice refresh of the water, quite warm actually. This initial sort of shock when you first get in, generally, really, really good. Lovely, I loved it. So did he. Well, all that uh, swimming and walking has made us hungry. So I'll get some food on, I think. Well, tonight's menu is, uh, you've seen them all before, meatballs, they're what we found, and uh, dolmia pasta, it's already cooked, so they're all wet food, I'll just warm them up and then show them these between me and our jack, and then we've got one each as well. That's about the best we can do really. Jack's the only one of my eldest grandsons uh, who want to come out and do stuff like this. Uh, Toby's not that bothered and he's only a year younger than Jack uh, but when we were when they were young I used to take them on different uh, different little weekends away I used to go uh, walking, potholing, river walking, abseiling, rock climbing, tree hopping go quite a long way over the years so it's just a natural progression really until the next stage where you know they're coming out and doing this as well now I have two other grandsons, um, Roman's only five or four, he's four isn't he, and uh, Jacob is only uh, a year old so when they get older if I'm fit enough I'll take them with me, if I'm not then he'll have to take up the mantle and he can do stuff like this. Brilliant isn't it, I just love it. Well, they like they warm enough, yeah, brilliant. Mm -hmm. The beauty of these uh, these sort of food when you go out camping is that they're nice and clean. You just warm them up, pour one into other like that. And then when you finish, put it in a plastic bag, stick it somewhere, and then bring it home. Absolutely brilliant. These are only less than two quid for a packet. These a dollar me or about a quid. Booths. And Morrison's, they've told me I'm not sure where they get it from. I think it's BM, something like that. Absolutely lovely. And for supper, we have got Snack Stop. And normally, I bring a, a plastic uh, carrier bag for throwing the rubbish in, but fortunately, I forgot it. So I've only to use the, uh, one of these uh, dry bags. Uh, where I put the food in, so stuff like this and the other stuff I had before goes in here and then I'll tip it out into a bin when I get home and then wash the bag out. All right, is that what you want? Is Christmas it? dinner? I'm not bothered, I don't have any, me. I don't have any. Like, sort for a bit. Yeah, I will. Christmas dinner it is. Christmas dinner? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. What it says. Do you want to use this? No, it's alright. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, I, uh, I don't need this now anyway. I've got... Uh,
Good morning. Well, what can I say about this place? Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Really good night uh, camping last night and a good little swim. I feel like doing a dead this morning actually. It's a uh, bit breezy, it's been breezy all night but generally it's been okay. Blew the tent around a little bit but nothing major. Absolutely stunning this place, absolutely stunning. Really is nice. Well, happy brew. And then pack up and uh, head off back to the van. As usual, leave no trace. As you can see, I was here, flat bit of grass. Jack was here, just here. That that was already before we turned up. Somebody's probably put a pan down that was hot and burnt the grass. Hopefully it should grow back anyway. But generally, there's nothing here you can tell, really, except for that bit, that somebody's been here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little wild camp and wild swim video, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.